Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your April reading. Uh, and I am Priscilla Bernstein, the Soul Alignment Specialist. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. If you have been here before, welcome back. This is going to be Leo's April reading, so let's get into it. Let's see what is in store for my beautiful Leo Lion Babes this month. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy new moon. We have the new moon today and we're about to enter eclipse season, which is really, really exciting. So lots of changes, a lot of new beginnings happening. And let's see what spirit has to say about what is in store for my beautiful Leos this month. Here we go. So what do my Leos have to look forward to this month, spirit? Ooh, the high priestess. All right, you guys are getting a lot of downloads, a lot of insight, a lot of inspiration right now. So pay attention to what's coming through. Pay attention to your dreams, to where you're feeling your heart calls leading you towards. There is so much that is pouring into your consciousness and your reality at this time. Let me see if I can get a clarifier here for you all. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so we had the Knight of Swords reversed and the Ten of Wands um, reversed. So what I'm getting is you guys are starting to see things in a different way, a different light. Um, you've had a lot of things kind of in your vortex in the mix, but it's almost like you are seeing both sides of the coin. You're being um, given kind of like a show behind the scenes or like you're becoming privy to the energy kind of vortex that's happening and you're understanding this. You're feeling this in a new way, Leo, which is really, really great. You're becoming very discerning in your energetic frequency and what is stirring or being created in your reality. It hasn't quite happened yet, but you can feel it. It's out there. It's tangible. You're like getting the visceral like components of it right now. So please pay attention to your insights, your dreams, your instincts, like really, really like you're turned on the high right now, Leo. So pay attention. Okay. What, um, lessons are my Leo's navigating this month? Thank you, spirit. King of swords and eight of cups. You're, yeah, the lesson that you're learning is you're learning how to get more clear on what it is you want, on directionality. Um, again, you were in this kind of like soup, like you had a lot of insight and a lot of um, opportunities and things. There was a lot happening in your field, but here you're becoming, you're gaining new perspective and you're becoming more insightful in the sense of like what you need to do, what is for you. This King of Swords, it's like he's broken up into like three. You can see there's like these two other versions of him kind of like, oh, I don't know where I'm going. But this version of him is like, no, I do know where I'm going. But this is like the old ego, the old um, not self kind of like in the in between. And now you're getting to that point where you are just like, no, I know exactly where I'm going. And it's what you've been creating. It's what you've been putting and pouring all your energy into. It's this new reality, this new world that you've been putting into your vortex, you've been daydreaming about, that you've been like literally giving your time, energy, focus, um, insight, and like, you know, your thoughts, your words and actions, like everything's feeding that. And so that you're becoming very deciphering. You're not in this kind of like in between state anymore. You're getting clear, you're getting concise, you're moving in that direction. Um, and that's your lesson is to stay on that clear, concise path. Okay, Leo. Um, what is the spiritual guidance for my beautiful Leos this month? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. So we got the lovers, the king of wands, and the page of cups reversed. So spiritual guidance. Okay. 
you need to pay attention to what lights your heart up to where your soul is like literally activating and leading you towards. Okay. These are the things that are going to feed you, that are going to nurture you, that are going to, um, create exponential growth in your life that are going to, it's almost like the fertilizer in which a plant needs, right? It's like the superfoods that in which your body needs the vitamins and minerals, like you need to be really conscientious and, and only go towards that, which feels really good. Only go towards that, which instinctively and intuitively lights you up and makes your heart ablaze and where your soul feels really, really called. Um, this is not something that is what I'm getting here with the page of cups reverse. It's like, it's not even like this inner stirring anymore. It's loud and clear. It's not this quiet whisper anymore. It is loud and clear. And that's what you need to be following. That is the insight and inspiration and um, guidance from spirit is to listen to your heart, to really, really acknowledge um those people that light you up, the places that light you up, the activities that you do that light you up, the foods that you eat that like are orgasmic. Like that's what you wanting. That's what you're wanting to lean into. It's not this like, mm, well, that's okay. And I could settle for that. It's like, no, 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 no. It's not the, the meek meager, like tidbits. It's like, the fuck yes. You want the fuck yes. Your soul's telling you what you want. Your heart's telling you what you want. You gotta listen to it. Excuse my my language. Sorry um, for anybody if that offended you. I do curse like a sailor and this is not meant for children. So if anybody saw that, I apologize if you were offended. Um, but I also don't apologize. Sorry, not sorry, because I had to drive that point home. If it's not a fuck yes, it needs to be a no, okay? Um, and sorry to YouTube, I hope you don't take this video down. All right, so from here, what is the overall energy that my beautiful Leos are navigating this month? Thank you, Spirit. All right, so we have Awakening, the Magician, and the Five of Cups reversed. This is beautiful. So you're coming out of this like sadness of like the things that didn't work out and you're really focusing on the things that are working out. Like, like you're not in this wishy-washy state anymore. Leo, I love this for you. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you. And with that, you're becoming the magician in your life. You're becoming your own best advocate. Like your higher self, your soul is your best advocate. Like you guys are becoming best friends. You're becoming super chummy. You're really understanding what it is that your soul and your higher self are leading you to. And you're becoming the alchemist in your life. You're literally having this new beginning, the star seed. This is a full card. This is a zero point. Like you're having this new beginning of insight and inspiration and like trusting what's coming through you, not what's coming towards you and what people are telling you or what you're being fed, but what's coming from within you. You're trusting in that now. Oh my goodness. I love, love, love this for you, Leo. This is very exciting. Very, very inspirational. Ooh, I'm getting so much energy right now. My little fire babes. Fire it up. All right. I'm going to pull an animal card for you now. What animal spirit will best support my Leo's this month, spirit? Okay. Thank you, spirit. The bat and the scorpion. So you're working with a nocturnal animal here. The bat energy, it's like it sees in the dark. It sees and comes out only at night by the moonlight, right? And, and it's only in the moonlight that you can see the bats when a light is shining on it. And so with that, you need to really be deciphering about what's happening within you. You need to understand the internal world in which you create and manifest in which your energy is the vortex and magnet of right it's like with that you need to also move in silence and not share everything that you're doing outside not share your manifestations with everybody because then people start to ingest or or um inject their 
information or their doubts or fears and it starts to give you a wobble in your field right so with that it's just like with this bat energy you just need to come within work amongst the shadows work in silence but also really tune in to what's happening within you and what you're putting out ultimately right and that you become a magnet and the universe will always respond to what you're injecting out and then with a scorpion card scorpions only strike when they're feeling threatened right and so leos i know being i'm a sagittarius i'm a fire sign too we can get defensive we can be extra you know like like let your fire be tempered this month and um try not to be as try is not a good word i don't like that word but do your best not to be reactive this month um scorpions are also very like lone rangers in and of themselves they just kind of cruise alone so just know this might be a month that you don't want to have a lot of social engagement but you want to kind of do your own thing to really stay in your own physical energy because you're in a very big I would say manifestation mode right now and if you're injecting too many energies into that it's going to manifest something kind of weird and I just saw 1111 right before that when I looked up so you're starting something very new and with that you might need to take some time alone to really get your your you know vortex moving in a very strong way until things start to pop off in your reality and then you can start to come back out you know but it's almost like you're working in the darkness you're you're working in the depths right now and you're becoming way more clear on who you are and what you're doing on where you're headed on deciphering you know um and being more instinctual with the things that you do so with that i'm also going to pull a oracle card for you beautiful lion babes what message, oracle message, do you have for my Leo spirit? Thank you. So we got thunder and lightning, shameless reversed, and then second star. Okay. So what I'm getting here with this thunder and lightning, here's you kind of going within, really like letting all of that energy build up around you right thunder and lightning is just energy it's like electrical currents moving through the sky right that are being generated from the clouds and they strike down onto the earth via water or metal right these are our conduits for energy water and metal and that's why i create jewelry and utilize things like affirmations and whatnot because we are 70 percent water and metal and water are the best conduits to share energy. And so I embed energy into my products as well that have metal, the creations of my jewelry, it's all metal, right? For the most part. And so you're getting that conduit of energy as you wear it as well. So this is you sitting in that and there's these three roses just blossoming here. Three is like the Trinity. It's like you're really coming into you're on the same station as spirit now. You're like really coming in tune with your higher self and your heart and spirit and bringing this down into the physical reality, that thunder and lightning. You're creating this, this um, vortex of energy, right? And then you're creating these currents that are moving in. And as these currents strike into your reality, into your physical reality, those are where these things are becoming created physical manifestations okay there no shame in the game here babe shameless you need to be shameless like you need to show all of yourself and allow yourself to be vulnerable in your truth you know there's no more hiding there's no more mask there's only you as this strong lioness this roaring or lion this roaring like king of the jungle right like you need to own your shit you need to own it all whatever that is own even the time that you need and spaciousness that you need from others. Own that. Be shameless in what you're asking for, okay? And the second star, this it almost feels like the second coming. Like you're getting ready to step into this portal of this new version of yourself, this new light. And I'm getting here, 
with this, it's coming around that eclipse. I feel like we have an eclipse coming up very, very soon. I don't know off the top of my head what the date is, but we're about to enter eclipse season. And when we do, this is when this new version of yourself, the changes are going to happen. And eclipses bring the change in. It's like the universe just like literally does everything for you and you don't have to do anything and it just shifts everything around. But that's going to happen during eclipse season for you. You're coming into your quote unquote second coming. And that's when you're going to feel a little bit more I would say after eclipse season, that's when you're going to feel more like yourself stronger in your energy and you can come out and be this super magnet to let things in again, to let other people in again, and to really own your shit, own who you are, own your worth and what you're asking for and what you're calling in, all of that good stuff. Okay, I'm going to pull one last card for you, beautiful Leos. What energies do my Leos need to hold or be in this month, please, Spirit? Okay, we'll have the deck fell, but I'm not going to pull all of those. I'm just going to keep what came out onto my lap. So we have abundance, will, growth, and beauty. Um, but abundance and beauty came out reversed. So what I'm getting with this abundance and beauty card reverse is it's almost like beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Like you're going to have to see things a little bit differently and it's not going to come from this abundant place of where everything else has come from. Like it's going to come from the, the little things, if that makes sense. It's like, you're not going to have these like plethora of choices at your feet anymore. It's like you have two choices and you know what to choose, right? It's like the, you're you're coming out of this energy of having too much because almost like it's overwhelming when you have too much right and so it's like you're coming out of that and you're seeing the beauty in and just like if you can look at this it's like this is a leaf or a flower leaves and a butterfly but they're creating like a woman's face here and so it's almost like you need to see things differently. Um, you need to zoom out of looking at just the one thing to see the full picture, right? And so it's like you have to zoom out of the plethora of, of choices and really zoom into the ones that are really calling your heart, that are lighting you up, that are making you feel excited and giddy about choosing them. And then from that, that we had will and growth. So your will is going to help you in your growth. It's going to help you grow exponentially because you're so attuned to what it is that you want, to what it is that you're willing into this reality, right? It's like you're taking the bite of your own apple here and saying yes to that thing. You're committing to whatever that is by taking a bite out of it. And with that, you're growth will be exponential. Oh, Leo, I love that for you. That's so beautiful. So just know, Leo, you have so much happening in your field. It's about deciphering. It's about being clear. It's about only focusing on what lights you up and allowing yourself to take time to become that super conduit, that super magnet and not letting everybody in. Um, I know you're a very social person, most Leos are, but this may be a time to ground and regroup and just allow your energy to be your own and allow that to feed and nurture your connection with your higher self and your heart at this time and with spirit. And then from there, you are literally blossoming into a very, very different person. Your second coming is coming after that eclipse season, so pay attention for that. I love that for you, Leo. All right, Leos, if this was super helpful for you, please share this with another Leo. Make sure to watch your other um, signs, your rising and moon sign to get the full overview of what this month holds for you. And if you would like to donate to this channel, if this was helpful to you, I do have a link below for my PayPal and Venmo. Donations are always welcome and appreciated, but not necessary. But if you would also like to donate in some other capacity, if you don't have those apps, 
Um, I do have an Amazon wish list that I have other decks of cards on that I would like to use and work with. And I will be sure to give you a shout out if you are one of the people that provides those to me and the channel. I love you guys. I hope this was helpful. Have a great rest of your April and uh, happy new moon. Mwah! Bye.